Hi guys, welcome to the show and today we are going to learn the pop-ups and cascading filter in Power Apps. So let's dig in and see the demo first. So here you see a gallery of uh, almost 15 products, right? So it's all related to surfing products. So surfboard, sunscreen, leg rope, goggles, etc. And here is the search products text. So if I want to search some product, I can type in here and you see on the left side, it's filtered. And another option which you see here is advanced filtering. This I have created for a pop-up advanced filter. So if I click here, you see product level and product name appears here. So currently all is selected here. So you can see all the uh, products on the left hand side. Now if I select some product level, suppose two. So the product level two has goggles, helmet and wet suit dryer. So you see uh, the first option is selected by default. I can select any other option as well. So you see uh, it's a kind of cascading filter. So product level one has these three options surfboard sunscreen leg rope so uh, the uh, second filter which is product name is getting changed based on the first filter which is product level it's a kind of hierarchy filter you can say or uh, in technical terms it's also known as cascading filter right so uh, now if we click on clear button the original uh, values which is all the default value basically gets selected and you again see all the products so uh, we'll see in the show how to develop this uh, cascading filter and pop up all right let's see now as you guys see I'm on the design uh, mode of power apps so uh, here is the screen which I have created it's a single screen app browser screen now if I go to gallery, you will see I have customized this gallery by some if conditions, if then else conditions. All right, I'll, uh, we will discuss that further in this uh, video, what I have written in there. So uh, let's see how this pop-up works first. So um, when I click on this advanced filter, there should be some variable setup should be done which should uh, enable the pop-up group to come up on this screen right so what I have done is if you see here I have created some um, objects let me uh, let me enable those objects first yeah so if you see this is the clear button this is the apply button labels all right and two drop downs product name and product level so what it is doing is for product level i am taking the distinct values of product level why because there will be several uh, product levels so uh, and uh, for product name what i am doing is i am filtering the pro surf products table where the product level uh, from the table which is surf products equals to product level which is selected here in the drop down all right so let me first show you the data in the excel so if you see here in the excel this is the excel which i am using for this app so there are three columns product level product id and product name and uh, if you see here for product level one there are three products with product ID one, two, three. And similarly, it's getting repeated uh, for the other product levels. So there are five product levels and 15 products in all. And this is the product name, right? And this um, Excel I'm using in the app. So let's go back to the app. All right. So here, that's why I'm taking the distinct of surf uh, distinct of product level from surf products because there are various product levels right so it will get repeated 
like 15 times it will get repeated so that's why i'm taking the distinct values of product level so uh, uh in this um product level if i show you you will see only five levels and if i remove this distinct you will see one three times two three times like that hope you have under understood this one uh, now let's go to product name so as i explained it will get filtered based on this product level selected in the upper drop down based on this filter conditions all right now this clear button is just clearing this two uh, product level and product name filters it's a reset function which will clear both these uh, filters to their default value so if you see here uh, if i select this product level and see the default option here i have written all here so every time this app is executed all will be the default value of this uh, product level right and here in apply button what i am doing is i am updating a pop-up group variable to false now here comes the trick what i am doing is uh, if i am defining this variable as false which is the pop-up group here if you see this group which i have defined with all these objects this will turn to false which means this window will go away will get closed basically so if i click on this apply you see that visibility of that uh, pop-up group is false now so what is basically happening when i am clicking this and if i go to the on select property of um, advanced filtering text okay so here you see the update context of pop-up group variable is turning to true right so um, which means the pop-up group the visibility is based on this variable and it's setting the uh, variable value to true now if i go to pop-up group you will see the visible option for the pop-up group is set to pop-up group variable right so uh, if you want to understand the variables in more detail you can go back to my playlist so there you will understand all types of variables uh, i have explained in there all right uh, so hope you have understood how this pop-up is working it's just uh, based on a variable value like true and false so visible what does it mean it accepts only two values it has true or false value so if i write here true you see this uh, pop-up group complete pop-up group uh, uh, objects are visible here right so uh, what i am doing is i am just replacing it with a variable which is pop-up group right so as the pop-up group value equals to false as of now so that's why you cannot see it here now as soon as i click this advanced filtering um, text the pop-up group value turns to true that's why you are able to see this uh, pop-up group again right so this is uh, the pop-up group explanation all right now let us discuss what is happening in the gallery items code how this gallery is getting filtered based on the selections in the uh, cascading drop down or from the search products text bar how it is getting filtered right so let us expand this a little bit more okay yeah. so what is happening is uh, i have written few if conditions if this satisfies then do this if this satisfies then do this like that so uh, let us remove the formatting or maybe format text so it will be a bit easier for you all to understand um, so what it is doing in the first statement is it's checking if the search text is blank and product level dot selected result equals to all and product name equals to all which means 
the starting stage of the app where nothing is entered in the text nothing is selected in the advanced filter then it will filter the surf products table for the product level not equal to all why i am doing this not equal to all if you go back to the excel you will see the first row equals all 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 for all the three columns right so i don't want to display this first row of this table so that's why i am filtering that here now the second condition is if the search text not equal to blank or null then we will search the surf products table for the text i have entered in that text box so if you see here uh, the search text i have named as search text the text box basically the text input so uh, it's a good practice to give a good naming convention always so that you follow what you have written in your code so uh, you can type any product name there in that particular search box so it will give the results to you like if i show you again if i type here um, leg rope oh. if i type here leg rope you will see this one right surfboard the first option right led like that so that's how this search option works now going back to the gallery code the third um, if condition is if the selected result not equal to all and selected result of product name is also not equal to all then filter the surf products table for the product level from the table to the product level selected in the drop down and product name from the table equals product name selected from the drop down so this will filter both the drop downs in a sense right um, again the second last condition is if the product level not equal to all then serve products filtering through the product level similarly if the product name is not equal to all filter the serve products for the product name so these conditions you have to give like all the conditions for the filter to behave in the uh, expected way right so all the conditions uh, should be written in this if um, items uh, function bar okay yeah so hope this uh, video helps you guys in doing the um, advanced pop-up and um, advanced filtering stuff the cascading drop downs and uh, yeah make uh, beautiful apps so uh, always remember to give a good naming convention is the uh, that is the best practice to be followed uh, in power apps otherwise it will be very confusing like here you have to group all the objects right so if you don't give a good name it will be difficult to search which object is what so like there is a pop-up rectangle so i've given that name product level product name right so uh yeah so i think uh that's it from my side hope uh you guys like this video yes please subscribe to my channel to get the latest videos on power platform thank you and see ya